Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a try on loungewear haul from Boohoo. Everything on their website was incredibly affordable, plus everything was on sale. So I think each set that I got was like less than $20 for the hoodie and the sweats. Crazy prices. I don't really know how best to do these try on hauls. I'm gonna try it out in this format today. You guys can let me know in the comment section which you prefer. I personally feel like a voiceover over me trying on the outfits is a lot more useful than me talking and holding up the pieces and then doing a cutaway of me trying on the outfit. I'd rather just see me wearing the outfit the entire time. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. All right, first things first, please excuse my quarantine bloat. It is what it is right now. The first thing that I'm trying on are these basic sweat joggers. I got them in a size four and this is the shade Ecru. Now, these compared to the black pair that I have are not as stretchy in material. They are a lot more form fitted. I do like the fact that they're high waisted, but I wish that the sweat had a little bit more give. These were only $8.58, so I can't say that I can complain about them for the price. I did also get the matching hoodie to these sweats. These are the basic mix and matched oversized hoodie. I got a size medium and this is in the color sand. I like that it's oversized. It's fun because you can kind of tuck it in at the side like I'm doing here, or you can just completely leave it out and open and just have it being baggy and comfy. One thing that I did notice about this is that one of the ends of the little tie parts was missing, so I ended up just taking out that tie completely from the hood because I don't really like that look anyways when they're hanging down. But I wanted to show you guys the length of the hoodie when it's fully down, when it's bundled up, and the hoodie is pretty comfortable. Plus it was only 1716. All right, moving on to the same set in black. For some reason, the black set was a lot more comfortable, a lot softer. The material had a lot more give. It is equally as thin in material. This is not like a nice thick sweatpant and sweatshirt. It's very thin and comfortable and equally as high-waisted. The band is somewhat a little bit like, not tighter, but it just the form is nicer on these versus the nude shade. And this is the hoodie on this one. It had both ends of the tie, which was nice. And I'm actually planning on bleaching this set because I thought that it would be something fun to do and it will give a cool look to this sweatsuit. The next thing that I ordered was this Zip Detail Funnel Neck Lounge Sweat. And this is a size six and I got it in the color black. It was $7.72. I really like the vibe of this crop sweater, but I didn't like the length of the sleeves. And I also noticed that the zipper was crooked. It was not straight down. And then the neckline, the fabric was just like not sitting properly. It was like sewn incorrectly. So there was a lot of bunching fabric. So I'm gonna be bleaching this as well, just because I feel like it looks really cheap and not well made and maybe I could hide that with bleach. And then the other crop sweater that I got is the Mix and Match Soft Cropped Loop Back Sweat. Wow, what a long name. This one I actually really like. I like the length of the sleeves. I like the angle of the cut. It's not straight across. It almost has like a little bit of a semicircle. I like the height of the neckline. I like everything about the sweater. It's also super soft, not super thick either. And that was only $7.72. I got it in a size six if I didn't mention that already. And then this was the last thing that I purchased. This was a basic crew neck oversized sweat in a size four and I got it in gray. I didn't like the sleeves on this. It gave me like this weird shoulder pad look. It just kind of stuck out too far. The material wasn't soft. It wasn't a relaxed fit. It felt very stiff. I just wasn't such a fan of this, but it was only $8.58, so it wasn't worth returning. So I might crop it or do something else with it. So that's it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this format. Again, don't forget to let me know what you think in the comment section. I'd love to know what you thought. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.